What is up, Motive Nation? I know, I know, I haven't put out a video in about a month. Uh, my bad, I told you guys I was gonna put out at least two a week. I've been a little busy, but that's no excuse. The point thing is I'm back, and I got some stories to tell. Um, the first week of April, uh, we went to Vegas to catch Pacquiao's retirement fight. He was up against Timothy Bradley for the third time. Um, it wasn't a well-publicized fight, but I still want to see it just for the fact that it might be Pacquiao's last fight. Um, we left here LA on Friday. We missed the weigh-ins because we got to Vegas around 4 or 5 o'clock. So we just ended up eating, chilling at our hotel room at MGM. And at night, we went to one of my favorite clubs in Vegas, Marquee. Saturday rolls around, uh, we wake up around 10, 11 o'clock and our plan was to hit up these pool parties that Vegas is infamous for. But when we woke up, it was fucking pouring outside. This is the first time I've ever experienced rain in Vegas. I didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, do we still go to the pool parties or we just say fuck it, let's just chill on the strip. But we just went to go eat. We said fuck it, we bought these tickets already, we might as well check out the pool party. Um, we went to Wet Republic and guess fucking what? Besides the fucking weather, it was fucking popping. People were still partying in the rain. So there's a tip guys, if you're ever in Vegas and it's raining and you're trying to hit pool parties, the party's still going on. So fight night's finally here. Um, we bought these tickets about two months prior to the fight for $250 for these nosebleed seats. But when we got there, the people checking the tickets weren't even really checking what seat you're in. So you could have lied and moved your way up. Uh, personally, I was able to snag a seat with my friend. Uh, we got these seats that were probably $1,000 to $5,000 each. Two of my other friends moved even further. They were probably at the $5,000 to $10,000 seat range. Uh, so yeah, man. So if you ever go to these fights and see an empty seat way up, go try and take it. The worst they could do is tell you to get out or like go back to your, other, your own seat. So the fight overall was pretty good. It was probably the best fight I ever been to. And I'm so glad I went because it was Pacquiao's last fight or supposed last fight. And you know, like he went out with the blaze of glory. He had a good ass fight, which makes you think that why is he retiring? But I see why, like uh, he's getting old. He wants to enjoy life outside the arena. So yeah, man, peace back y'all. It's been a good couple, it's been a good while. MGM Grand Arena. This is the main event of the WBO International Welcome. 
welterweight and the legacy of two great fighters, President Francisco Paco Valdez, Supervisor Leon Panoncillo Jr. The score is one victory apiece tonight. We complete the trilogy. Once and for all, we find out quién es el más macho. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white with purple and gold. When he stepped onto the scale, he weighed in at an official 146 and one half pounds. This perennial fight of the year candidate enters the ring with a stellar professional record of 33 victories against one low defeat, one bout even, 13 KOs, and one no contest. Forged in the heat of the dirty desert, Palm Springs, California, the five-time world champion, the Desert Storm, Devastate! Across the ring of the red corner. Hey. wearing Pinoy red, white, blue, and gold. Okay! Okay! He rose from extreme poverty to become a global icon. And he set a record 10 world titles in 8 different divisions. But this happens to be his final bout as a professional. He leads us with a record of 57 victories. With only six losses, two bouts even. 38 of those victories coming by way of KO. The humble warrior from Sarangani province, the Philippines. Once again, we go to the scorecard to determine a winner. All three judges turn in identical scorecards of 116 to 110. <laughs> For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now the WBO International World Tour Champion from the Philippines.